While our tether to the mountains of our home holds the strongest bond, it's only natural that this enduring pursuit eventually leads us further from the comfort of our dens and into realms that we admire with fresh eyes. This annual pilgrimage to other playgrounds is a welcome departure and a stimulant for our creativity. We need not venture far before noticing the subtle changes to the landscape, the terrain, and the overall shape of the mountains that we seek. Heading east from the coast, we travel from the rainforest, over a mountain pass and through a desert, eventually entering into a new kingdom, ripe with pristine snow and terrain that satiates our thirst for exploration and discovery. Sometimes we find ourselves investigating areas that are new to us, foreign yet familiar all the same. Sometimes, however, we revisit the places we've uncovered before, like dusting off an old book and rereading it, this time with all of our gained knowledge shedding new light on the pages in between. If the coast range is to skiing what Hawaii's North Shore is to surfing, then the Selkirk Range is Indonesia. These mountains are full of steep, subalpine bowls and shady north-facing crags too steep for substantial tree growth. Kai has been reappearing in the Selkirk Range for nearly two decades. On this trip, he's shepherding two first-timers to the area, Logan and Flo. But they won't be dipping their toes in, for these two take a more head-on approach and dive right into the deep end. The gang is now fully immersed in the BC interior backcountry and decide to set up camp within arm's reach of their objectives, leapfrogging long approaches and settling instead for a front row seat to the big game.
After some well-earned days of hunting pillows, the crew packs out of camp and goes their separate way. Logan and Flo return westward, and Kai remains in the rabbit hole, as an opportunity to venture to the holy grail of heli ski lodges presents itself. Micah heli skiing holds a rich history in the world of snow sports, but rarely are its goods sampled by a team of this caliber. Joining Kai are some of his fellow coastal cohorts and legends in their own regard. Ian McIntosh, a veteran big mountain skier, is familiar with the zone and has visited numerous times over his storied career. Also in the mix is Bryn Alexander, a fast rising star from Whistler's newest generation of big mountain huntsmen. This will be his debut heli skiing experience. Callum and Kai last skied here 10 years ago, and their distant memory of the mecca that is Micah is fanned from a smoldering ember to a full fledged flame as they arrive on site. Kai dropping. Surprise, flakes fall from the sky like a million secrets ready to be shared. The snowpack requires a thoughtful consideration, but soon stabilizes below tree line, and while the storm continues, the helicopter is able to fly. Thankfully, the loathed term down days is never uttered at Micah, and the gang sinks their teeth into the offering that they've received upon arrival. Nine, me and my 
my niggas walking around with Max and a 45. So how you wanna handle your biz, your bitch made mark. Leave your dead to to the head in ocean view park. Cause when the bang is on, niggas coming out the cuts with artillery in their hand. Ready to start the buck at them bitch made niggas trying to make my day. Cause that's how it is when you're living in the bay. presents a welcome opportunity for warm-up runs on lower angle terrain. This elevates the excitement of progression towards the giant pillow stacks our crew has dreamt of engraving since first glimpsing their potential. Cow dropping. Kai dropping. Dropping. Yeah. 